so a lot of you are probably wondering, where did the 8.6 go? Um, the 8.6 kept doing me dirty. I spent way too much money on it, and I figured it was time for me to just buy a car that, you know, would turn on and move when I wanted it to. And I've always wanted to build a Cressida, and so I thought now would be the perfect time. So I sold that, and I got the Cressida, and now I will be documenting the full length of the Cressida build. Uh, we will be going for a Kaido Racer style of build, but you'll just have to stay tuned to see what it turns into. Now, everything that you saw on the car right now, I haven't done, I've done zero cleaning since picking up the car, so all of the engine bay is all grimy, I got, I got look over leaks, um, the trunk is, I got a vacuum, the steering wheel is absolutely cooked, it's a little ooey, so we've got new parts coming, and, um, soon enough the car will be close to on its nuts it will probably be it, it it will be lower it will have new wheels um everything will be all judged but today i will be probably doing a full deep clean and then we'll go from there maybe i'll do a little bit compression test maybe but we'll see i'm just going to kind of go over the whole car and see what i got to do all right so i'm just going to do a quick overview of the before so i mean i'll repaint this later but you know we got that going on but we got a whole bunch of dust and grime going on everywhere, which I'm going to clean. Um, and then let's shoot over to the interior. Everything's just kind of dusty. I'm going to replace the steering wheel. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, probably clean the floor mats, center console. I got a new cover for this. Um... There's some like seeds and stuff back here from probably like rodents. There's some tape, but we're just gonna go ahead and clean all that up. <laughs> I'd say that's pretty good for now. I mean, of course, I'm going to still have stuff like this, but all the battery gunk is cleaned. I've just kind of given everything a wipe down. Got the fan shroud all in here. That whole thing was like black. Yeah, I think we did pretty good. Time to move to the inside. Bust out the vacuum. All right, let's move to the back. All right, before I get to cleaning all of it, here's a closer look. See this grody tape, and then we've got tape all along the top. We're gonna tack that. Oh shoot, I could just take this whole thing. I'm gonna clean this off of the car. All right, now I'm gonna take this razor blade to tack, to tack this tape. Let's zoom out. I can't, I gotta do this with two hands. All right, all the tape is off and it turned into like pixie dust. It's like all over, all over me. Now I gotta vacuum it. All right, so I'm probably gonna attack it later. This is as much as I got off so far, but the thing started to crack. And I was like, I just don't wanna touch this piece anymore. We'll just throw it back on the way it is for now. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. If you 
rub hard enough, it'll come out. I almost forgot we gotta clean out the trunk. We got a whole bunch of duty doo doo ness that we gotta vacuum. Cleanliness. Awesome sauce. All right, so I cleaned the dash, the gauges. Hopefully, we'll have a steering column cover coming soon. Uh, cleaned all in here, and then in the back. Less dirty, less tape. Yeah, I think we did pretty good. Now we're gonna move on to that. up at the junkyard I just picked up I went for the passenger side one but since they had both I just figured I'd grab both because they're black <music> So what ended up happening was I put the driver's side one on and then the glass was actually very loose and I tried to pop it back in, which I thought I could, and then I put a crack through the center of the glass. Whoops. So I decided to put that one back on and then uh, the passenger side one is the new black one. So let's test out the, um, the power. So here's left. Hold on, let's... Oh. oh, there it is. Let me set this one. All right, that's pretty good. And then let's set the other one. All right. Woo! All right, time for a new steering wheel. <sighs> the screw underneath the steering wheel is stripped. So I might have to do some ripping. Swagger. I didn't have to break anything. And then we break out the even bigger guns. That wasn't that crazy. Oh, whoops. Always threat the nut on a little.
There goes that guy. All right, I'll be right back. Whoa, mini wheel. <laughs> it's gonna be so funny. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> well here it is <laughs> I actually really dig it <laughs> alright well that'll do it for today's episode I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one <gasps>